Press the bell icon and never miss an update from Bollywood Now. Tell us what do you think is the most important message in the book? I think the most important message in the book is the fact that Rujuta has even written a pregnancy book. I think everybody writes diet books, exercise books, yoga books. Um, of course, Rujuta has also done, I think, one of the biggest books to have come out of India, How Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight. I think this is a one of a kind because, I mean, for every woman, I think, Everybody's a little nervous, anxious, scared the first time you become a mother, the first time you get pregnant. So an informative book which guides you through, I think, the journey, which is so very special, um, which you get a lot of jitters, nervousness, sometimes you overeat, undereat. There's so many things taking place during pregnancy. So I think this is literally going to be a pregnancy Bible for a lot of women. And I'm so happy that uh, we've done this together and I'm here today to launch this book that's finally out. It's an exciting moment and I'm sure this one's going to be even bigger than Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight. Well, thank you for that. But, you know, we've been together since Don't Lose Your Mind, yeah. Lose Your Weight. And uh, I think like all the trends that you have propelled, uh, Don't Lose Your Mind, Lose Your Weight also propelled another trend of... Um, you know, actors endorsing diet books, don't you think so? Yes, I, I mean, of course. I think that definitely, I think that was the first time that I think, you know, yeah, course, we yeah. actually so openly had written about the diet fads and what kind of right eating was about. I think in India, everyone was very averse to uh, eating right. Everybody thought they were eating right, but nobody was really implementing that. And the fact that when Rujuta really came out, uh, and openly spoke about, you know, how women actually, are not just women actually, I think even men, they lose their mind more than they lose inches on their waist. Because people in the gym ke mare ja rahe, mare ja rahe, char ghante mare ja rahe. Ke kya ho rahe? But nobody is really losing weight. So I think the idea being is that, you know, you have somebody to guide you and uh, I think yes, ever since then there have been gazillions and thousands of books after that. Yeah, so in a way, you actually made the uh, the book industry get got them rolling, huh? Yeah, there was I mean, no such thing as a diet section, Pele. Now there's a health section. There have been a lot of firsts, yeah. nah? <laughs> And especially with me, including the paparazzi and the media, if I would like to take credit, the whole gym <laughs> session, the whole gym look. तुम लोग ने क्या यार पूरा रीबॉक आडिडास नाइकी खाली हो गया सब मेरे घर पे कि यार एवरी डे वो प्रेशर हो गया कि कुछ पहनो कुछ नया पहनो करीना ने क्या पहना है जिम में सो एवरीथिंग इज अ फर्स्ट हां सो इट्स फाइन बट इट्स ओके आई लव इट एंड आई लव आई लव माय फोटोग्राफर्स एंड प्लीज फॉलो मी एंड प्लीज क्लिक मी आई डोंट केयर एंड एज मच एज यू वांट एज मच एज यू वांट ओके cool so um, what do you think was the one food that really helped you sail through your pregnancy and post it especially because when you lost weight post pregnancy you know it was almost like uh, tushin because everyone's like oh god what is she doing you know why is she losing so much weight no i think that in fact it's a very gradual process because it's yes it has been 6 months but like i said that in, it's going to be this whole one year you know we're going to do it the right way we're going to eat the right kind of food uh, just so everybody knows of course i had today it was uh, i mean i had lots of ghee you know i mean i told him that even in my dal there should be a little bit of it uh, that i enjoyed the taste and i think that also it's i mean it's literally helping me keeping my skin my hair everything is like feeling great and the most important i'm also very happy so i think a happy mother is the best mother in the world yes i think um, you know some loud applause to that because um the book is also meant for uh, women who are working and to really ensure that women do take the time off to look after themselves because like she rightly said a happy mother is the best mother that a child can have um, and not a skinny mother is the best mother that a child can have you know and happy women invariably look fit and are healthy and are yeah absolutely i think that's so important uh, you know i mean because 
being a mother, of course, carrying the child for nine months, then giving birth, looking after the child after that. I think there's a lot that comes into it, a lot that comes into play, uh, you know, mentally, physically, hormonally, so many things are taking place, you know, which I think even women sometimes don't even know what they're going through. Uh, so I think the most important thing is that to figure out an eating plan, eat right, eat every two hours, eat the right kind of food. In fact, in the book, what is most important is that you've given tips on each trimester, yes. which is, I think, brilliant. Because so many different things are actually taking place in each trimester, you know. The last trimester being for the brain development, which is actually so important. So what exactly will help for that? I think all that information is out there. And another very important message that we send, with, that we want to send out there is that too many women obsess only about what to eat once they're pregnant or after they have delivered because, you know, they would just like to quickly lose that weight. But what is of paramount importance is that what is it that you were eating much before you got your pregnant? Uh, much before you got pregnant because your pregnancy and how quickly you get back in shape post-delivery is very much dependent on what kind of health status yeah, you your, have before. Your fitness levels basically how, um, you know, of course, you know, being eating right, exercise, it's been a combination of that even pre-pregnancy. Yeah. Uh, of course, Rujita being one of the first ones that I called when I actually made up my mind that I wanted to have um, you a know, baby, a child. Yeah. I actually called her up and I said, listen, this is what I'm planning. Obviously, don't tell anyone, but let's work towards it because I really want to be fit. And, uh, you know, if I'm fit before that, I think that it's, you know, I'm going to, uh, you know, sail through. Smoothly. And, uh, you know, of course, with the support of, you know, so many people, everyone, my friends, family, Rujuta, everybody, I think it's been a well-documented pregnancy and a pregnancy that I think has just, you know, flown by it. So it's actually made me feel that, wow, okay, I can. Maybe I should I do it again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I think, uh, you know, like the way that it was this whole size zero thing and it really inspired a whole lot of people. It actually changed the way people were dieting. People are now looking at Indian food to lose their weight. Similarly, I think post your pregnancy, no one's going to be feel scared of getting pregnant because, you know, yeah. yeah. Because you've kept up with your work and you've kept up with your glam quotient all throughout. Well, I mean, I don't know about that. I think that I've always just done, like you know me, it's always about what, um, just following my heart. And basically, I think just being uh, clean, happy, positive thoughts, that also is, I think, the most important thing, you know, when you're carrying your child, even post-delivery. Uh, so many thoughts come to your mind, but actually... Uh, Food is also related a lot to the brain and the way you think, you know. So the key and the crux is that, you know, if you keep your gut clean, automatically, you know, your brain, everything, everything is just cleansed completely. And that's what I've always done for the last 10 years since we've been together. Absolutely, yeah. uh, but do you think that it's, um, because this is the common perception that people have, that, you know, it's easier for stars to come out there and say, be positive and eat clean and it's not so for us... Uh, common people, what would you want to say to that? In fact, I think it's uh, it's easier for the common people to kind of eat clean because there's nothing really that we're doing that's out of the box. Correct. I think we're actually eating what's completely normal and what's made at home. It's basic home food. I mean, you know, even that's why I hate going out, you know. I don't like going to parties or restaurants because I think the idea is that I'd rather enjoy like a nice movie on television and eat a home cooked meal so I mean how hard is that you know I mean like a basic dal rice if that can help you lose weight you know why bother about all the expensive goji berries and the you know cranberries and the so on so forth I think that's it's not that important staying rooted is important absolutely being true to your culture is important yes <laughs> um do you think that it almost needs a special kind of confidence to be eating out of our kitchens, given the kind of propaganda that we have every single day about ye khao, wo khao, har ek imported cheese khao to knock the weight off? Yeah, I think that most of the thing is that, you know, we just kind of read items blindly. We kind of believe 
whatever information is you know out there if somebody's written a blog if somebody said this that now so and so is doing this diet or so and so is doing that i think then we obviously turn away from our own home cooked food our own kitchens and kind of try and you know go to the expensive stores and say that okay this it has to be good because you know it's like 5000 rupees yeah. <laughs> and it's a miracle drug or it's like you know it's going to work cuz everyone's eating it in the west uh, but i think that indians and in our dna is completely different at least i can say it from me that i am a true blue punjabi and my my dna is completely different so i need to have indian food i need to have you know the basic home cooked meal you know even to keep me healthy and happy and uh, would you like to have a message for all the husbands about learning to cook yeah well of course <laughs> but now you know i mean that goes without saying that my husband is he's i mean playing the role of a chef but he also is not many people know is also a very good chef and uh, but though i mean like he gets very scared if i tell him like cook a dal and a, <laughs> you know like something like a ghar ka sabzi he panics he does the pasta really well but ha huh, yeah, he is a little anglicized yeah. so he's allowed to <laughs> true and what role do you think exercise plays uh, you know in pregnancy and post it and staying happy and staying fit no i think being active in pregnancy is the most important thing and that's what i did i mean just you know being out and about you know doing going but your day to day normal chores as normal as it can be you know i mean like but of course the indian mentality i'm sure is a little bit like you know ki are ghar pe baitho khana tray pe aa raha hai ghar pe all the women have their feet up their feet are swollen you know they kind of have that thing that are i can't do this i can't do that but you know i think things are changing now you know i mean there's so many people who are 7 8 months pregnant and you can see them they're on the go they're on the move and they are inspirational so i think that the idea was even for me i was like i want to just be out i want to just do everything that's normal and you know just keep my you know positivity keep my brain cool keep you know keep calm you know that's the most important yeah and what would you like to say about you know going to bed on time and de-stressing because that's something that you've really started doing now yeah of course i mean like I think that has also changed now because of their mood because um I like sleeping early and I like waking up early because he sleeps early and of course he's up at 7 a.m. So the idea is that I think that's helped me you know get into this routine that's helped me uh be fitter is getting my 8 9 hours of sleep at the right time you know not sleeping at 2 in the morning and you know 3 in the morning I'm it's lights out at 10:30 of course on weekends it's exceptional today being a saturday night <laughs> <laughs> so do you also think that uh, you know happier mothers fitter mothers active mothers contribute to the health of a baby i mean i think the baby automatically your child will feel what you're feeling somehow you know mothers and uh, you know their child there there's an instant bond there's an instant connection so you need to be happy you need to feel it from inside you know when you're holding your child so i think that is most important and trust me that comes with you know a balanced meal of eating you know the right kind of stuff um did you have any kind of routine pregnancy problems i mean yeah i mean pregnancy problems i mean of course even i had morning sickness and you know like what everybody uh what most normal women are going through but i think yeah of course we kind of kept it at bay with lots of sugar lots of kala namak like rujuta has an answer like that's for everything and the most simplest remedies so i think the crowd should actually ask you also <laughs>